This right here is the ESP32 development board, a microcontroller. And if you have two of them, you can actually program them to wirelessly communicate with one another. Let me show you an example. Here we got two microcontrollers communicating with one another about whether a button is pressed. And this communication is done wirelessly. Okay, as I'm making this video, I can already foresee somebody saying, wow, that's a whole lot of wires for wireless communication. So let's just set the record straight here. These wires that you see here, they're just for connecting the LED and the button to their own respective microcontroller. But the microcontrollers themselves, they're still physically separated. Now that that is out of the way, let's get back into it. This wireless communication works by Okay, look, I know that the wires from both microcontrollers are connected to the exact same breadboard, but that still doesn't mean that they're physically connected. All the wiring from this microcontroller is on this side of the breadboard, and all the wiring from this microcontroller is on this side of the breadboard. And there's this physical barrier that keeps them separated. Okay, so are we good now? Is this settled? They're physically separated? We all agree here? It's wireless communication? Can we get back to the video? Now this wireless communication works by, and you know what, you know what, by the way, I don't have to fucking explain myself to you, okay? I'm the engineer here. If I say it's wireless, it's wireless. You just take my word for it. I'm not going to be fucking lectured by a bunch of bimbos that have no, no concept, no grasp of engineering. You know, I try, I try to make an educational video, educational content, and you fucking bimbos just ruin everything. You know what? Piss off. 